Give us the lay down, big spell. What's happening here? Come on, private brain. Even though I'm on the boog, the arm's actually feeling pretty good. Next week we'll get on the surfboard. to the indie bar to shoot a mate's band, Indigo Bird, just a chance to get a bit more practice. It's an early slot, uh, should be a bit of fun though. I've got a lot more time off work now, so after this video comes out, uh, I'm probably gonna head down south for a week. Arms feeling okay, a bit sore after I got on the book the other day, um, but hopefully next week we can surf. It's 5.40 now, so we gotta get going. Sometimes I just get so nervous for things like this. I don't know why. Like, it's just my mate's band. Oh, fuck. Right. We're spending 30 seconds in the car, and then we're going. I got like five hours of sleep last night doing some editing for my day job. And then I worked all day. Yeah, we're still gonna get in there, make the most of it. And then smash it out tonight in the studio. Edit hard. Oh, fuck. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm driving, so I can't, I can't drink much. How does that give me a free drink? Go up, to the, go up there and give them that, and you get a free drink. Really? Yeah. Sometimes you just don't feel like doing anything at all. I've got things I want to work hard to get towards, so one of the ways to do that is to keep getting footage and that, you know, if I can't be fucked, it still means I'm going to do it. Keep chipping away. But it was worth still coming out. It was good to, good to see those guys. I'm going to drive home. It's uh, only 7pm. 
uh, and we'll get on the laptop and um, start powering through that footage. I've also got something to edit for another band, which I really should do tonight. Hey, welcome in. Oh, You're here shit. with your DJ X. I'm going to kick it off with some songs that are all you, starting with the band. There's this new DJ thing on Spotify. All right. Fuck's sake. Let's go. So, the way I like to procrastinate is uh, it's 7.30, so we'll watch one episode, uh, and then we'll import the footage, then we'll watch one episode, and then we'll go through the footage, then we'll watch another episode, then we'll edit the footage. Yeah. Before I go through all the videos, I'm just having an edit of the photos. I was just doing some slow shutter to just experiment. Uh, cool. Cool bits and pieces. I'm so tired, so I'm probably just gonna do the photos, call it a night, get onto it tomorrow morning. Photos are cool though, I'm gonna just get some music playing and uh, have an edit and uh, see what we can make up. It's 11.30 the next day, I still haven't done any fucking editing. Just staring at a blank screen is just so pointless. Um... Actually got a tiny bit of work done, uh, which was a surprise, so that's good. Got a meeting with the health clinic that I'm currently doing some stuff for, uh, and I'll, they haven't paid me in a while, so it'd be nice to have a chat about that as well. Um, this track I've been uh, working on, which I think could be a nice one for the series to have as like a main background song. Gonna cook that one up with Ollie and then um, also just get a bunch of other stuff for the videos. Cause yeah, I want all the audio to be 100% original. Fuck. Um, uh, yeah, I want all the audio to be 100% original. And Ollie's uh, gonna help me with that, so. Scary music, yes, I know. This is like a tough scare. This is like, yeah. Right, back to the old trusty. Oh, dude. What if he's had a face switch and I had to go to that? It had like a. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It's on my feet. Because right now I have like this, there's like this recording. I don't care for snaps or originals. I can't think a guitar in my head. Mate, no one. If I. I reckon, here's the other thing to think about. I don't care for all that small talk! Talk! Ah! Talk, I was owning rares. I was owning rares as you said that. Don't care for snaps or reels. Cause none of that shit's gonna count. So I've been reading Atomic Habits by James Clear recently and uh, just this morning I came across a paragraph that was very relatable to how I've been feeling over the last week or so. So I'll just read it. At some point, everyone faces the same challenge on the journey of self-improvement. You have to fall in love with boredom. We all have goals that we would like to achieve and dreams that we would like to fulfill. But it doesn't matter what you're trying to become better at. If you only do the work when it's convenient or exciting, then you'll never be consistent enough to achieve remarkable results. 
I guarantee that if you manage to start a habit and keep sticking to it, there'll be days when you feel like quitting. When you start a business, there'll be days when you don't feel like showing up. But stepping up when it's annoying or painful or draining to do so, that's what makes the difference between a professional and an amateur. When a habit is truly important to you, you have to be willing to stick to it in any mood. There have been a lot of sets that I don't feel like finishing, but I've never regretted doing the workout. There have been a lot of articles I haven't felt like writing, but I've never regretted publishing on schedule. There have been a lot of days I've felt like relaxing, but I've never regretted showing up and working on something that was important to me. The only way to become excellent is to be endlessly fascinated by doing the same thing over and over. You have to fall in love with boredom. Luckily for me, I'm not bored of this yet anyway. It's satisfying in a weird way to just be making all these videos and trying really hard and not getting a lot of views. It's just like, I don't know. I, um, I guess I just have faith in myself. Yeah, so I'm just building that foundation and um, I know there's a lot of good stuff to come and uh, on the days that I don't feel like it, it's just a win to get it done. And I, I don't regret finishing any of those days off like I did. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna travel well. See you next Wednesday. Don't care if it's not so real. Cause none of that shit's gonna count. I'm gonna go and see the world. And I'll blow my savings in a cow. Don't care for all that small talk. But baby, you're